Like so much else in life, resilience begins in our communities. This is why the Caribbean Development Bank founded the Community Disaster Risk Reduction Fund in 2012 to help build resilience from the ground up, starting in our communities. Our partners in this effort have been the Government of Canada and the European Union. The United Kingdom's Department for International Development was also one of the original funding partners. The CDRRF has 24 million US dollars in contributions and works within communities, particularly remote rural ones, most vulnerable to climate change impacts. The program works directly with community groups and public and private sector partner organizations to build out projects which help residents avoid or reduce the impacts of extreme weather events, natural hazards, and climate change. In Jamaica, farmers in Peckham, Clarendon, and four surrounding districts are learning climate-smart agriculture techniques that will help them to increase productivity and adapt to unpredictable weather patterns. The Environmental Health Foundation is implementing this project. EHF has been working in this community implementing this project for the past two years. And in that two years, we have had over 50 climate smart agricultural training sessions with our farmers. That's not an, an easy activity to accomplish. And right now, we have 272 direct beneficiaries, farmers who we are impacting. But it is very interesting to note that throughout our agricultural training sessions that we have had, we have engaged directly over 400 farmers who really wanted to participate in the, in, in the project and benefit as a farmer and as an individual in their respective communities. I don't know if you know when we had the rains, what, two years ago, the May rain, we were impacted heavily. So we would have really needed the training in terms of the techniques that would be needed to really stop soil erosion and landslides and stuff like that. So most of our farmers, if you go on the, the plots, you'll see where um, pineapple suckers have been planted, poto potato slips, um, trees have now been planted. And I'm thinking that in the long term, if you visit, you will find more farmers rather than cutting down trees now would probably be planting more trees. So I believe of a fact that we have learned a lot and we are using whatever techniques were taught to us to make sure that we do farming at that level. Well, for, for me, I'm now being able to produce more sustainable crops, like for if, um, like food security, we don't have a problem now with food because we are producing food right around the year. Um, the knowledge that the EHF team has passed on to us, it makes us so much more emotionally and financially independent and, and, and um, empowered. As I speak now, there are some tanks being delivered right here in Tweedside to some of our farmers, and that will help them with their drought mitigation efforts. We have also developed five climate change adaptation and disaster management plans for five of our communities and that will really help them to be, to be more prepared. At the end of this project we know that everything that we have taught, that we have demonstrated, will be sustained over generations to come because they really understand that as an individual farmer and as a collective group that they are really guaranteeing our food security and our food security highly depends on them. And I also want to take this opportunity to really thank the Caribbean Development Bank, the Community Disaster Risk Reduction Fund, my team, hardworking individuals, our farmers for allowing us to come into this space, working with this wonderful group of people and really contributing to the climate resilient approach and believing that we could really impact lives in this way. These programs are building community resilience and are protecting the livelihoods of residents and their families so that they can face the future with confidence.